we need real comprehensive immigration reform. We don't need, and let me say this very clearly, we don't need to demonize immigrants. That we don't need to do. But, but let me ask you to answer my question, which is, right now, if you were the president of the United States, we have overflowing yes. facilities. They need to go somewhere because they're in that asylum what process. What about building? Where would you put them? What about building proper facilities for them right now? Where? That could be done Where? right on the border. Right on the border at the same time. So the people who live on the border should have more facilities in their states, but sanctuary cities which have said they're right, open this, to accepting people should not take more. Now, this is a political act no, on not. the it's president. No, it's a real question. That's a real question. No, it's not a real question. Yes, it is. It's a political decision. So what you want to do, let's talk about immigration, yeah. which is a real issue. Okay, first like of all, real instead real of demonizing immigrants, Nobody maybe, well, I'm saying you are, but we have a president who certainly does every single day. What we need is comprehensive immigration Absolutely. reform. That's what the American people want. And if we had a president who believed in that, we could actually do it. Yeah. What you also want to do, both, you know, you both got, parties need to agree on it. You to got today one point, you know, Trump ended the DACA program that Obama established. You know what that means? That means every day more and more young people who were raised in the United States from two or three years of age, they're in the military, they are teachers. They're working all over this country. They are now scared to death that somebody's gonna pick them up and throw them out of the country. And that is what Trump did. We need to provide legal status to those people. And we need a humane... Look, Martha, I'm not saying this is an easy issue, right. but let's not politicize it. What we need, as I said, we need the proper uh, legal processes at the border so that these issues can be adjudicated to determine whether or not people should be entitled to asylum. And you didn't talk about a wall or security there, but you've talked about that before. We need border security. Of course we do. Who argues with that? That okay. goes without saying. Now, Let's I happen to, to believe, I happen to believe that there are more cost-effective ways to do that than simply building a border. All right, let's go back to the...